welcome to another episode of Soul Aligned Success. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one way you can identify if you are out of alignment with your spiritual business. Your smaller self thinks and gets stuck in the polarity and duality of things. Your higher self, your divine self, your true self knows. Your smaller self wants things or needs things, right, to happen. If it feels like a want or a need to have a new client, then you're in your small self. Whereas once you move into a state of knowingness, then you are in alignment with your divine self, true self, soul. And this is what opens you up to receive the new client. And so one thing that I've figured out that's really important to stress, and this training is such a deep training, I'm not gonna be able to do it justice in, a sh in this short little series episode, but when you are using your spiritual business, your soul business as a vehicle to try to satisfy the smaller self goals, when you're in that state of needing or wanting and you're using your spiritual business as a vehicle to do this because the ego will attach to anything, even your soul business and your spiritual business. You will not get the results that you're looking for. Energetically, it can't happen. You're not at the frequency to receive the abundance if you're coming from a self-serving place. You must be coming from a place that is in the highest and greatest good for all involved, be open to receive the guidance and the wisdom that will lead to you getting the next client without you having to know how. You just know that this is the next right step for you and being able to access that knowingness and access that divine guidance and access that divine wisdom that will then let you know when it's time to move and you move when you are moved, right? You make moves when you are moved, but you don't make moves to satisfy the small self, the personality self, the ego self, right? There has a, there's a level of trust and receiving and receptivity that happens when you come into alignment where all of your needs are met, but you can't even be doing it for that reason. That's just the byproduct of alignment and you can't fake alignment and you can't fake it and say, um, I'm going to align now with, with what my, I'm going to come into alignment so then I can go get X, Y, and Z. That is not alignment. That is, again, trying to use the spiritual business as a vehicle to satisfy the needs and wants of the smaller self. So if you're building a soul line business, that doesn't work. If you're building a spiritual business, that doesn't work. In fact, I don't believe that you can take anything that is that you're devoted to as uh, being a vessel for the highest and greatest good of all involved and have that intention and then allow your intention to be manipulated by ego or personality and still get the same results because energetically they are on different frequencies. Opportunities will be made available when you're in soul alignment that never would have been available to you when operating in pursuit of the smaller self. I hope this is making sense. This is a pretty, a much deeper topic that extends obviously beyond the entrepreneurship. But I just wanted to dive in a little deeper um, with you on this topic so you can see why maybe sometimes you might be frustrated why some of your manifestations aren't coming or why things aren't happening in your business and you're not building momentum. And a lot of times that can be because your ego or your personality self has attached 
to the outcome that it needs or wants instead of allowing yourself to be led by the desires that come from within open up to receive the guidance act in full faith on that move when you are moved and be in receptive mode for what comes back to you by being in service so you're either in service to yourself or you're in service to others and this doesn't mean that you are not going to be able to manifest things in your life, abundance, travel, vacations, money, you know, all kinds of things, right? Because all of your needs are always met when you are in alignment with your soul. This is soul aligned success, not ego driven success, not personality success, right? Like personality aligned success of what the personality would deem to be successful. This is soul aligned success. This is much deeper than what most people are going to see as a model of success for them, right? It's not going to be easy for a lot of people to release that control and allow themselves to be led and allow themselves to be in receptivity mode without necessarily having all of the steps laid out in front of them and just being guided to take action on things and move when you are moved, right? And so I just wanted to share this so you can identify if you're operating from your small self while trying to grow a soul business, then you're using your spiritual business, your ego has attached to that as a tool in order to try to serve its, its needs. And it doesn't work that way. So you can't fake alignment. And when you're in alignment, this is when you open up to opportunities that are beyond what you even thought you could even have, right? Because the soul sees beyond that. The soul has the soul has every opportunity available. And the soul speaks to you through your desires and uses you, the physical person you that you know, right? Your person your 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 person, your body as a vehicle to then fulfill the divine's plan through you. And so if you keep muddying up the energy with your personal, uh, ego driven, self serving goals from the smaller self, then you're not you're going to be at a total different frequency and vibration. And this isn't to say that you again, you can't manifest things that you desire because your desires are divinely gifted to you. But there's a fine line between allowing things to come to you as a byproduct of alignment and trying to think your way to something or manipulate your way to something or figure something out that you think that you need or want in order to satisfy your small self-serving goals. So I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions about this, please leave your questions or comments below this video, wherever you happen to be watching this. And if this really resonates with you and you want to move forward building a soul aligned business that is completely in alignment. So you can call in your soulmate clients, really magnetize your message online, really scale yourself so you can help as many people as possible and be in alignment with your mission and your lifestyle goals all at the same time. That's what I help spiritual entrepreneurs with. And you can access my soul aligned success masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Namaste.